Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Long Dark Stalker Custom, Season 1, Episode 59. All right, so this is what we've got to do. Wrong key. This is what we've got to do. Carcass harvesting's at 5. Cooking's very close. Fire starting, we're getting closer. Rifle fire is pretty good. We need to improve our ice fishing. I think maybe we have a book to read for that, as well as just ice fishing is pretty easy to do anyway, so it's not a big deal. Archery, I think we maybe have one or two books to read for that. Mending, I just have to start mending stuff a lot more, I guess. And uh, again, if we can find some books, that would be great. Revolver, we're close, and then gunsmithing, we're already maxed out at. So uh, I think the things I want to focus on in this episode is going to be ice fishing and archery, if possible. So uh, let me see what I have to eat here. Oh, yeah, we got all that food cooked outside. I forgot about that. And we got some water here. Might do a water cooking session. Uh, in the near future, we got a couple pots here ready to go. Uh, sewing primer. I think we've read all of these. Let me just double check. Yeah, we've read all of those. And what about this archery? Oh, oh we're gonna definitely read that one. Okay, so let's go. Let's go do that for a little while here. Let's see if we got another one. I have another one right here. No, that's frontier shooting guide. Uh, it's gonna be for the rifle. That'll help out. And then field dressing or kill. I think we've already maxed that one out. So, all right, there we go. We might want to head on over to Desolation Point and see if we can find some more books. I don't know if we've been over there in this playthrough or not, but we might find some more reading over there. And we can do some hunting along the way, maybe get into some fights with some wolves. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to step back here and do an hour's worth of reading just to wake ourselves up on this frigid day. So, let me see. Which one is it? Is it, uh... Is it really, uh... Okay. Here we go. I want to do Frontier Shooting Guide. I want to do the, uh, archery first. And we... We haven't read that one yet. yet. And we're still not quite 100% with our, our level 5 with our, uh, fire starting. So, we'll do that as well. Alright, let's just do an hour at a time here. No bonuses for going any faster than that. We'll see where we're at here in a minute. Looks like we're staying warm enough. No issues there. Can always use, if we're going to, especially if we're going to go use the bow to go do some hunting, it would be nice to have a little bit better skill with it. All right, so there we go. Got that taken care of. I'm just going to drop this thing right here. Should have went to our fire starting material. There it is. Make sure we're dropping the right one. Okay. All right, now that we've got that taken care of, let me grab a little something to eat here real quick. Uh, I think I'm going to go with whitefish this morning. That sounds pretty good. Maybe one more. Eh, you know what? Let's do... That's a big one. <laughs> we're gonna we're not going to be able to eat that whole thing. All right, I'm going to drop what was left of that one, which is probably pretty much most of it. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to get some more water going here in the near future, so... All right, um, before I start hurting for water, I'm going to grab another liter of that, maybe two liters. And then uh, we'll go do some fishing. We'll wander around Mystery Lake here, see if we can locate either a bear or moose. Let's do two liters. All right, it leaves a little bit of water for us. I think we left some water at uh, Trapper Homestead also, but I'm not 100% sure. We should be good for a little jaunt around mystery lake there's a deer right there um yeah i kind of want to take this deer down if i can the trick is well, wonder what our uh, did it again wonder what our uh archery's at now oh yeah it's starting to level up pretty quick maybe if we bring this deer down we can level up just a little bit okay that's the wrong one. Oh wait that was the right one there we go not you. All right, let's try this one. I can't do it from a crouch, can I? Yeah, it won't let me. Way over, said. Shoot. It's just about to line up a good shot. Well, I'm going to go get that arrow before I lose track of where it went while he runs around frolicking. Get 
down here somewhere. I said it landed here somewhere. Seems like it should be here. Should be that hard to find. They don't really dig into the snow that much, usually. Unless it uh, just completely disappeared, like my deer that I shot over here last time as well. Hmm. Yeah, kind of, oh, wait, what's this? Nope, those are footprints. There's a possibility else. I don't think it was this far over this direction. It was more where I originally came down at. Maybe I passed over it here. Dig in here somewhere? No? On the tracks? Hmm. Arrow mysteriously disappeared. Okay. Note to self, don't launch it over a hill because it'll probably disappear. Let's try this one again. Oh, don't you turn on me. Makes it really hard to get a hold of you. That's a bit annoying. Okay, you coming back now? Oh! I'm getting better with this thing. Look at that. Second shot was a charm. Hmm. We'll take it. Alright, well. When I went, wanted to go hunting, I wasn't planning on this, but let's see how, it, how that did with our... Uh, Archery. It didn't really do much, did it? It didn't really increase it much. Archery might take a long time. I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's quarter this thing up. Bring it on, wolves. Bring it on. Go play with me. We can do that. Lots of food. Help with our cooking skill a little bit. Hope you guys are doing well. The weather has definitely gotten colder here in the Ohio Valley, Miami Valley. I'm getting down into the, we're staying pretty much in the 30s for the most part. All the time now. There we go. And we'll leave uh, the wolves some legs to gnaw on. Leg bones to gnaw on for a while. Hopefully that keeps them placated. Of course, honestly, I'm looking to get into fights with things with the with the bow now at this point. Right, let me drop another one of these here. Did I drop it? I think I did. Okay. Oh no, I didn't. I thought I, I no, I pressed three. I don't know why it didn't uh, actually register that as a drop. But put this over here. There we go. Some fresh guts, some cured guts. We got cured guts all well, almost all over. Yeah, definitely lots of lines and snares to be made. Right, let's throw this outside. And then I got that deer hide. I should have dropped that inside while while I was there, but. There we go. Okay. I was looking at it, I'm like, that still looks like three bags, but maybe they just perfectly landed on one of the other ones. All right, so now that we got this taken care of, do we have two fresh deer rides? Oh, man. Apparently. I've been neglecting my uh, curing process here, but we got, like, so many, it's not a big deal. Okay. I'm going to leave these for now. I want to kind of get moving get moving foods on we're doing fine for food all right let's head down here see if we can spot our bear she's already tired i guess it is starting to get night. We'll probably uh probably sleep somewhere like maybe uh camp office or, or not camp office sorry carter hyder dam or the trailers or something i sleep over there and then kind of make our way around the back side of the map there. But I kind of want to hit the areas where the bear frequents 
Well, I'd like to get a bear kill with, a, with an arrow and see if that helps with my archery skill. How many arrows do I have left still? For some reason I keep hitting escape today. I don't know what my issue is. What are we doing? We got three plus one. Okay, not the best, but let's drop that. We don't need that anymore. We're going to need to make some more arrows. Might need to head over to the Riken just to use the forge. Or we can always head on over to Forlorn Muskeg. There's a bear that's right at the entrance there. It's pretty reliable. Um, I don't know if there's a really great spot to hunt him from. I guess you could probably get up on one of those trees. Those fallen trees that's sort of at an angle. Kind of get up on the ramp there. If need be. But hopefully... We get lucky and we run into the bear over here and I can hunt him from the uh, ice fishing hut. Oh, we got our wolf out here. Finally. Finally. I was starting to get a little worried about these guys. And we got a couple deer over here. Could chase one of those deer into the wolves and kill the wolf and get a free free carcass out of the deal. But I think I'll just uh, I'll stick with trying to find the bear. I'll try to stay a little more focused. So... We need to use the revolver. We can use that, or the rifle. Here's the bear. All right, good, good, good. Let's uh, let's do a little arrow hunting here on the bear. See if we can get lucky. Now, if he runs off with one of my arrows, I'm gonna be a little upset if I can't find him. Hmm. This is what it is. Should be able to uh, get him somewhat close. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Aim for the left eye. My left or his left? I'm not sure. Cool. i go for a headshot if I can. Ooh, he's pissed. I think I missed him that time. Sounds close. Oh! Oh no, he, he got me. He got me. He ambushed me. There's nothing I can do. I'm trying to hit the mouse. That looks like a pretty good shot. Eh. Oh well. I got emergency stims. Well, I did need to mend things, so... <laughs> Maybe this is for the better. He should die eventually. That that looks like it might be a mortal wound. I'm not 100% sure. I gotta get some help. Yeah, you're going to be okay, young lady. You'll be just fine. Don't you worry. Here's my bow. Collect your bow and get your... I think that, I gotta get some help. that arrow went underneath him, I think. Is that an arrow down there? Something down there. Can't open her. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, Oops. Not That's not what I want. That's what I want. Left leg, bear bite, uh, infection risk, bear bite. Um, let's put the, uh, yeah, let's put it on here. I think that's where you, oh, that's the antiseptic. I thought it was a hole. Come on, come on. Yeah, I screwed that one up. I was thinking it was a bandage. For some reason. There we go. Okay. Now we put that on. I'm not used to getting injured like that. Kind of forgot what order things were supposed to go in. I think I had a, an arrow. I see it over there. I think, no, those are rocks. I don't think he... What's my health at? Ah, it's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. He looks like he's hurting. How many arrows do I have left here? Two. All right, let's see if we can bring him back in for another round. He's bleeding. Yeah, he's not interested in me right now. I need to run to this. Uh oh. Oh, he's coming back. Good. We'll we'll uh, kite him back this way. Missed him. shot. Oh, 
arrow it went up a little bit. Alright, I just didn't want him running off all over the place because I think he runs back that way and then it gets real hard to track him, so. Just spreading the love around a little bit. Make sure he's down. <laughs> now the other arrow should be over here somewhere. I don't want to have to travel too far to grab his bag of meat and try to get through all these wolves that I'm going to have to shoot my way through anyway. Alright, let's head on down here. The other arrow, yeah, I think it deflected off the ground and sort of bounced off the ground and landed over this way somewhere. Plus, we should have one in his body. I think we recover those, right? I'm not 100% sure, but I think we can. Maybe it went into him. Maybe there's one, like, down on his paw or something. I don't know. All right, well, we got him. Now you can go back and eat and drink and recover. I'll part him out today and maybe come back out tomorrow. Let's grab that simple arrow. Oh, yeah, here's the other one. Okay, so I, I got I got three, three back. I got three arrows. I'm horrible about that, yes. Yeah, we got the three arrows back. I th think that's what we had. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... I know she's tired, but... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, take care of... Quartering him up here. Oh, rest suit, I'm out. All right, let's get going here. We're gonna leave that. I'll take the I'll take the bear hide. Won't cost anything to carry that. We won't attract any animals right now. But I'm getting too tired to carry too much, and I want to get back and recover fully. I'm at 50% health, so we did get ourselves a bear. It was, it was a bit messy and a bit sloppy. Not quite as new, nice as my uh, revolver moose kill, but it worked. Let me see here. I wanna yeah holster that. I wanna reload my. Yeah, I need to reload that and pick up the brass here real quick. There we go. All right. I'll just have the revolver out in case I need it. I saw that the uh, skill went up for the uh, archery, which is what I was wanting. Could take out one of these wolves, but if it if I miss with the arrow and it attacks me... I don't know how strong I am at this point to uh, fight back, being that I'm super tired and half dead. So we'll head back. Plus, I, I don't want to ruin any nice pieces of clothing if they're sort of being held together by threads. I don't. I didn't. I don't think I lost anything in that tussle. I didn't hear anything like get shredded or see any messages that stuff got destroyed. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm used to the bear taking you down to like 10% health, so I'm not sure why it only went down to 50%. I was expecting it to be like 10% health and or real close to 10%. Basically use an emergency stem to stop getting all woozy and blurry vision and all that stuff. Where you can barely walk straight. Alright, let's head back here. That's my torch, my ruined torch. I wonder what that was. All right, so we got the bear. Um, I think in this case, I'll just stay here for the night, obviously, since we're so tired. Finding the bear there was a little bit of a, of a bonus for us. And then I'll probably head up through that way tomorrow. Or, uh, yeah, probably, probably that way and then around to where the trailers are. And cut through clear cut and then see if I can find the moose anywhere. Sometimes he likes to hang out near Carter Hyder Dam. I might swing by there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Because uh, I do kind of want to go get the bear meat. but uh, The bear bed... Uh, getting the, the materials together for the bear bed roll is what the priority is for me at the moment. Along with leveling up our skills. Okay, so these are all cured wolf pelts and... I think I'll try to drop it here. Oh no, you know what? Let's put it. Let's put it in here. Should be a good spot. There we go. So we got bear hide in there. Do we have a couple in here already? 
Yes, we got one in there. I think we need two or three. Oh, well. Let's head upstairs. Oh, might as well top up our stomach with some good food. I think we earned it. <laughs> uh, we'll eat the rest of this one. There was a lot left on that one. That was at 1,700 piece. Not much on that one. I think that was like 200 and something. And let's have some venison. And we're going to have a little bit left over, so we'll drop that. I don't think we have anything else. Cool. Okay, we gotta we gotta harvest these bags within three days, otherwise they just disappear off the map. So they magically disappear. At least that's how it was when I had when I lost them in the past. I haven't tested to see if that's changed or not. So I'm not going to either. I'm just gonna assume that it's always stayed the same. Alright, so we got that all taken care of. That's yeah, pretty good timing, honestly. Let's get her some good sleep. Let's make sure she doesn't have any ailments. She's good. Yeah. Oh, let's take a look at our clothing. Let's see here. Not that. Let's do it the easier way here. Let's look at condition. Ooh, we definitely need to repair those. And our uh, rabbit skin hat looks a bit tattered up. Everything else, not too bad. And we got plenty for the deer skin boots and deer skin pants. Everything else is pretty good. So, all right. What do I need to repair this? I just need a cured leather to repair that. Oh, that's not bad. I'm glad I didn't need another moose hide to repair the moose hide satchel. Okay. So we're good. Definitely need to repair those gloves before morning. That's a sleep for 12. I mean, we should be close to 100% when we wake up. Maybe, maybe 90, 85, 90%, I'm guessing. Oh, no. Completely, 100%. Maybe the well-fed bonus helps you heal faster, too. Does it say that? Let's take a look here. Nah, you manage to prevent starvation for 72 consecutive hours. You're full of energy and carry more gear. You're also better to face the physical trials ahead. Your condition is increased as a result. So our condition increases. The, the, capa the, the overall capacity of it increases. I don't know if this regeneration of health increases as well. Wouldn't surprise me if we did a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we're tip-top shape now. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that... Uh, see here um i need i wonder if i can can i fix these right now what do i need cured leather gotta find some cured leathers probably in here this is where i would think i would keep it there we go cured leather cured rabbit pelt good we can repair that hat as well so we'll take this and we'll take that rabbit pelt Wonderful. We got arrow shafts and arrowheads and uh, plenty of feathers. We should have feathers. Yeah, 88 feathers. We can make more arrowheads uh, or arrows. No problem. We don't have to visit the Riken or, or anywhere to make more arrowheads. So we might do about three or four more of those. All right, let's go ahead and get, get to repairing these. This is priority one. Chance of success, 95%. I like that. All right, make it happen. And we're skilling up our mending, which is what we need to do also. So... And like I said, that worked out. It only went up to 30. Wow. Um, I don't have any more cured leather with me. Really? Hmm. It seems odd. It seems like I've collected quite a bit of cured leather. There's probably something around here I could take a look. I think this is all, like, yeah, firearms related. Oh, there's nothing there, there, there. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well... Huh, really? There's no more cured leather in here? I guess not. Well, we're going to have to deal with 30% gloves. If not, we can always make rabbit skin mitts. It's not a big deal. Um, not too concerned. And we got an, a bandage, and we got another... Let me check. Uh, old man's beard dressing. So we're good there for antibiotics, and we've got an emergency stem, and painkiller. We're good. Medicine's still good. I don't need to really re-up on that at the moment. I can always tear these down and get leather out of them. How's our boots doing? Let me make sure. Oh, that's right. We have really, really nice boots. Yeah, let's tear these down. Can I just break them down from here? No, I have to actually take it and then break them down. Okay, let's do that. Can I get two out of these? Yes, thank you. That should get me close to being fully repaired. Uh, yeah. It's going to take an hour and 30 minutes, though. It does take a long time to break these boots down. All right, and that being said, let's head back over here. Let's do another repair on these. Fifty 
58%, and one more weaker. Skilling up that mending. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at mending. Yeah. It's not going very fast. It's moving. I don't know if I'll get to level 5 for all these. I'm going to try, but... I don't know. If it gets to the point where I'm like, oh, it's going to take me another 300 days to level up to a level 5 from for this skill, and uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to just drag out the series to drag it out. But, uh... Would like to try to get there if possible. Okay, let's see. This needs repaired. Let's go ahead and do that. Wait. Oh, I need a cured gut. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Let's let's do that. And it'll repair 55%. That'll be pretty good. As long as I don't strike out. 95% chance of success. And we did it. Let's take a look here again. See, see what that little mending job did for us. Yeah, barely noticeable. <laughs> Makes me want to like destroy stuff, get attacked. Destroy stuff just to mend it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that either. Okay. What else we got? Anything else really needs it right now? Eh. Deerskin boots. We could probably do that. Deerskin boots and, uh, and the pants. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's repair these two up. Help us stay nice and warm. I think we'll probably need two guts. If I'm guessing right. Yeah. One gut for each of those. Yeah, I guess today we're just going to mend. All right. So those are at 94%. Wonderful. This should take us to 99. Oh, 95% on this? Yeah. Nice. Okay, very good. All right. Well, let's head on over to Trapper Homestead then, since we went that way. I think they have more water there, and uh, probably have a cooking pot there as well. If not, I'll take a couple recycle cans. Just for good measure, we can always drop those once we get there, if, if there's a already cooking pot there. I think there is. I know we have two here, but I don't really want to be moving pots around. I kind of want to leave pots where, they, where they'll be needed for the most part. But I'm just taking those in case we get... I plan on staying the night there. That's the thing. Trevor Homestead. So... Be ready in case we have some action here. I know I said I was probably going to go that way and then cut around, but I think we'll go this way. Since I already got the bear. Yeah, we got uh, some wood we could break up here if we wanted to, take it with us. I'm not sure how much wood we have there, but it kind of looks like a blizzard is coming. So let's just go ahead and cut up this wood, see what the weather does. The weather gets nasty. Oh no, it actually got nicer. It was... Probably colder. No, it's actually really, really nice out. Okay, well, I'm going to break these up so they'll regenerate faster. Come back quicker. We'll take the, take the opportunity to do this. Plus, if we get there and there's no wood, we have plenty of wood to uh, cook up water. And I got to remember to go back and get those... Uh, bags from the from the bear you guys just want to cut across I say we just cut across I'm honestly not too worried about wolves at this point the opportunity to take one out we'll do it I'm probably Usually a little overly cautious about the wolves. Should probably be a little more aggressive. I have a feeling though we're at the point in Stalker where wildlife starts to thin out just a little bit. Progressively gets less and less abundant as time goes on. Well, there's one over there, at least. Can 
That was probably the ugliest kill on a bear I've ever <laughs> done. What, I shot him t twice with arrows, three times with the revolver, and once with the rifle, I think? I need to find food. I'm surprised they weren't like no harvestable meat. <laughs> After being filled with that many holes. She just says she needs to find something to eat. I guess I guess she is a little eh, four hundred and eighty colors. Yeah. It's alright. We we do have not plenty of cattails. We got enough. But uh there's no meat up here. I think there is. I think I have some at the front front door. I'm gonna say if there wasn't any, we might have to snag some rabbits. Some rabbits down there, right down in this area right here. There used to be a moose moose that would hang out sometimes over here at the Trevor Homestead. That's where I got my I think that I think that's where I got my first moose kill. Maybe. Maybe it was Carter Hydro Dam at the trailers. I can't remember. Oh well. Let's get over here and see what we got. I'm pretty sure we have pretty good supplies over here. St fog's starting to set in. I'm kind of glad I'm getting to my destination here. See anything moving? See, see anything the size of the Titanic moving? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm starting to think that they don't have the moose here anymore. Has anyone, like, in the last three to six months seen the moose down in this little valley right here? In front of the uh, Rapper Homestead. If so, let me know. Because uh, it's been a long time since I've seen it down here. Let's see how much food we have here and whether it's cooked or not. I can't remember if we've cooked. I don't think we've cooked it. I don't think any of this has been cooked up here. Yeah. Doesn't look. Oh, it's cooked. Huh. Look at that. 77% condition. We'll eat it. Sure. That was very kind of me. I leave myself that. It's cooked. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and eat. We're in good shape again. Cooked. Double checking. All right, now let's go inside and see if we left ourselves any water. I'm pretty sure we did. We did. Oh, yes, we did. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just so impressed with my preparedness at this point. All right, that should be good for the next little path up. Oh, look, cured leather. All right, we can do a little bit of repairing. Might as well do it while we're outside. I think, right? Is this all scaled up? Yeah, it's going to be all used. Okay. So, I could probably... Yeah, let's go ahead and top off our lantern while we're here. Where's that at? There, actions. Yeah, top that off. Refuel that. We're at about half a tank. A little over half tank. There we go, much better. Let's go ahead and drop that. Wonderful. What do we got inside of here? What kind of goodies we got in there? Couple feathers, I'll take those two. And sewing kit, yeah, not too worried about that. How are we doing on fire stuff? Good. 
Okay. I can probably go out here and read a little bit. And then uh, we'll do some repairs. And then we'll get some sleep for the night. But, uh, yeah, it's a wonderful day right now. So I'm just going to sit down here. And enjoy this beautiful scenery. And uh, read a few chapters of the book before it gets... What time is it? Eh, maybe two chapters of the book. If I'm lucky. Mm, let's do sh Frontier Shooting Guide. Sure. What's the matter? What the heck? What the heck happened there? Uh. <laughs> okay. Research already completed. Oh, well, it didn't say that. Thanks a lot for making me carry around a book I didn't need. All right, here we go. Fire starting skill is going to go up that much once we read the book. All right, well, we're going to learn about fire starting then. We're going to try to learn about fire starting again. I think we'll be able to do it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. All right, well, let's see here. She's not quite tired yet. I'm going to go ahead and move on over to the unnamed cabin over there. Um... I'm trying to think if I want. I'm trying to think if I want uh, this material for crafting. I got two of those. Yeah, I'll take that. So, yeah, plenty of water. Um, oh, let's go ahead and eat that. That'll attract wolves, which I'm not really down for right now. Okay, now we got a nice full stomach. So let's just go ahead and move through this area. Head on over to the unnamed cabin. And I know we got a lot of bear meat there. Um, again, not sure if it's cooked. I think it's cooked. Maybe. If not, we'll we'll do a cooking session there. And then from there, either in this episode or the next episode, we can head on back to where the uh, bear is and get those bags. Those huge bags of meat. Hopefully the wolves won't be out. If they are, we'll just plow right through them with a uh, barrage of gunfire and lead. I would stop here and get some of this wood, but it's getting dark and it's starting to look like it's going to be foggy. I, I don't like... I especially don't like the ladder, so... I'm gonna, I bet you that would, that would be amazing. What's that? Oh. I thought that was uh, maybe a shell casing I'd forgotten. Just happened to stumble across again. Nope. Not this time. I think we'll take the high road, look down, see what's going on down there. See if there is a wolf near the uh, unnamed pond. Or not a wolf, a bear. There usually are wolves down there. We'll see if there's anything by the unnamed pond there. Cover it all. Alright, up the hill. And then... Should have a nice view down there over the unknown pond, and then we'll head on to the uh, cabin. All right, I'm just going to get my pistol out in case they've rerouted one or two of these wolves in the last few updates. No, I don't come this way frequent enough to be sure, and plus I don't like blind hills and blind turns. There's a bear. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Could definitely hunt him. See if we can arrow him. Real quick, we're going to have two bears in this one episode, maybe? No, I don't think I've ever done that before. We got our hunting stand here. See if we can pull him in a little bit. Shouldn't be too hard. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. You hungry? Hungry. Hey, bear. 
No, he's coming. No, he's coming. We're just gonna fight him back. I don't want to have him charge me quite yet. I want him. I want to be in my hunting stand when I take the shot. I think he kind of dies pretty close to here. I don't think he ventures too far. Like the other bear. So I'll try one arrow into him. And uh, see where we go from there. Come on. Don't give up on me. Kind of stuck back there, isn't he? Could take a shot. I think I'll take a shot from here. Oh, he's running away. Well, that's not where I want him to run, because that's where I want to go. Hope he comes back. Otherwise, I'm going to be really scared walking to my cabin. Well, we'll just hang out here for a minute and see if he comes back over the hill. Because he might go down there, sort of pinball, come back. It's hard to say. And we got plenty to drink. We're not freezing. There's no reason to rush. But what I will do is I'll, I'll go back that way and go up and around. So I have plenty of distance if he decides to uh, come up over this. I don't want to go this way and have him come up over the hill at the exact same time. And we sort of meet at the top of the hill. Oh, what's this over here? Is that a wolf? That looks like a wolf. That's a wolf. Yeah. I remember him. We've killed him before in this series. But he's back. Okay. Could probably look at my... Bear numbers. See uh, how many I've killed. But he might have died already. It's hard to tell now. Should have looked before I took the shot. Bears killed four. Uh, I don't know. Can't remember how many we've killed in the series. But if that goes up to five, then we'll know that... Oh, there's another wolf right there. So we got two of them. Got one over here somewhere. And then one right here. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and go around, circumnavigate this uh, general area. He's about to call out, isn't he? Yeah, he's howling. Okay. So I will go ahead and uh, get ready to uh, shoot him with a rifle. If uh, for some reason we come nose to nose with that injured bear. I'm kind of surprised he ran off. I wonder what that means. Like, Does that mean it's a mortal injury if he uh, immediately runs off? Or does that mean yeah, it's just something that they can do? It's like a random chance. Because usually they charge. So, a little interested in that. I see this whole area really good from here. Okay. Problem is he ran kind of in the general direction of where we want to go for the night. Sort of sleep, but... We'll sleep and see what the bear number is tomorrow. If it's five, we know for sure. If it's four, maybe, maybe not. Or he could just be laying over here. Conveniently at our doorstep collapsed. Who knows? Or he could be just waiting for us at the doorstep, ready to ambush us like the last bear. And we got the bunny rabbits out here hopping around. Lots of, uh, is this cooked meat? Ah, it's cooked meat. It's bare, so we can't eat tons of it with impunity, but, uh, we can definitely eat enough to, uh, keep ourselves going if it needs, if that, you know, happens. But right now, we're, we're pretty good. All right, let's, let's dip in here. I'm gonna take, I guess that's gonna be what I do all, all, uh, episode. Bear. Four. Still at four. All right. Well, maybe, maybe not. It's hard to tell. I don't see a moose out here, unfortunately. But uh, we'll have to go let's search for that bear and maybe have to deal with those couple wolves over there in the morning. He could be. He could have ran, like, up that way and over into clear cut. 
as well, so it's, it's hard to say. It'd have been a lot easier to say had I looked at the bear kill stats before I took the shot, but uh, yeah, screwed up. All right, so it's nighttime. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some sleep. This would be a good time to get some sleep. Should wake up at a reasonable time, reasonable hour in the morning, probably about 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., I think. Get another bear hide, and I think, oh yeah, I wanted to check to see for bear skin. Bed rolls at three. Oh, it's only two. And then, okay, well, we can do that. We have two that are, we have one in the in the drawer at camp office, and we have one curing right now. But then we're going to also have, well, if we can get this other bear, if I can find it, we'll have another one that we can use, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, repair my coat, which I think is around 69 or 70% or something like that. 74%, okay. So we can use that to repair that coat. Ah, hey, Carl. Yep. All right. Um, what time is it? Yeah, it's morning. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our stats here for the bear, see if we get any clues. Where'd it go? Still four. Hmm. Don't know if he died or not. He ran off with my arrow. I get the feeling that maybe... Let me think. It took two... Bear skins to make my coat. And then I have one curing and one in the thing. I don't think he's died yet. Because I have two in the process. One in curing, one cured. And I think it took two to make my coat, right? So, if we do the math on that. Let me double check the, uh, to make the coat. I'm 99% sure that's two, right? Yeah, okay. So he hasn't died yet. He's out wandering around still. So let's head back up the way we came. He might have returned back to where he's wandering around. Of course, I'm hearing. I think that's new. What are they What are they underneath? Or uh, what are they circling above? He hasn't died yet, though. What are they circling? Now I'm curious about what they're circling. Uh, it's not a bear, right? Can't be. Oh, it's a dead guy. We got some. Probably got some feathers we can pick up at least. Add to the collection. Just one? Really? You guys are cheap. Birds are being cheap with their feathers. All right. Well. Let's head over here. Let's go and look down over top of uh, Unnamed Pond one more time. Let's see if we can find the bear out wandering around. We might need to finish him off since he's just injured. Kind of surprised he ran off like that, though, just being injured. Oh, well. It is what it is. So I think I'm going to eat one of these bear meat while we're still a big one. The biggest one I can find. That's probably the largest one. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and eat this whole thing. Take the 1% chance for parasites. Get a drink. There we go. All right. Let's head back up to our safe zone up here. Ironically, it's safer to go higher on the mountain when you're trying to get away from a bear. Normally, the bears like to go up into these sort of areas like I would expect to find them up around here but not in the long dark it's a little different all right hopefully we see him wandering around down here he's returned back to his you know creature habit type thing turn back to his general area even though he is injured and we can sort of kite him back to the uh, hunting stand get another good arrow shot into him and hopefully that does a trick Hopefully. Is he down here? We'll see. Hmm. Let's 
not looking very good at the moment. What's that over there? That's not a dead bear, is it? That looks like a rock, I think. There's a wolf right there, too. Two, two wolves? Yeah, two wolves. That might be a dead bear. It would make sense. That would that would be sort of the area I'd expect them to be in. Yes. It's now five. Alright, that is his carcass, and we got two wolves down there. So let's go uh, Leroy Jenkins, these wolves. <laughs> Create some more bodies. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be interesting, pulling the meat out of this area. But really what I want is the bear hide. I mean, the bear meat's great for cooking and stuff like that, but... And I want my arrow back. Alright, here we go. I would go... Try to do the archery with the uh, the wolves, but I'm not, I kind of suck when it comes to archery. Jeltez, I am not. So, we'll go up here, see if they scare away. If they scare away, fine. If not, got a little bang bang for them. I want to see if I can maybe bring them over here and then, yep, kind of go up this way. See if they'll follow me. I don't know. Sometimes, I think they're supposed to now, but I don't know if they'll come up this far. This seems like a really long distance. Here, let me see if I can, maybe I can drill them with an arrow. Oh, he's coming at me. Hmm. Kind of scared him. I want my arrow back. While he's freaked out. 68%. Oh, that's good. Didn't take... I don't think it took much off of that arrow. Let's let him reset. Get a feeling this might be a good way to... Come on. What? Are you a different one? Same one? Really? Dude, I can't hit you that far. I'm good I ain't that good. Not even close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's go down here and get this arrow. He should he should drop soon enough himself. Ah, it looks like an organ hit. Landed in nice, nice, uh, soft, fluffy snow. So we'll gut that de or grab the meat from this bear, run it back to the cabin and the homesteader cabin, trapper homestead, I should say. And then uh, we'll probably hit that. We'll probably get that wolf on the way there too. I'm guessing that wolf is probably still. There was a second one over here, so I can't let my guard down too much yet. So he ran over that way. I'm going to get up here and hang out for a minute. Is it really that cold? I got 40 degrees, really. Interesting. Well, I'm not too worried about the, the cold. All right, let's see here. I don't see how many wolves are dead. And again, I should have looked. 24. Hmm. Let's see if that ticks up to 25 here in a little while. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this uh, bear while I'm over here. Yeah, let's do it. No time like the present. Grab my arrow too. My arrow back. And some feathers. Nice. These guys are so much more generous than the last murder crows that I saw. Yeah, get low. Quarter this thing up. We're gonna get cold unless the temperature goes up. It's slow. Oh no, got cold real quick. <laughs> well, let's grab the hide. That's what we really want. For now. And let's head on back. We'll come back and I might not get to all these bags of bear meat, but uh, at least we're getting some. What's our? Gosh, what's our arrow skills at? It's doing good. It's gone up a lot. I guess killing a couple bears with a bow and a wolf and a deer in an episode goes a long way. It's kind of fun too. So especially knowing that we have a lot more. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pistol out just in case we come over the hill. This 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 uh, wolf probably be a little angry, a little a little perturbed with me. <laughs> I 
That first shot, yeah, it was off right. I should just I should have been able to see that it was going to be off right, but that second one, I wonder if you get additional experience based upon how far you make the shot. Like our short shots, you don't get quite as much experience, but if you pull off a really long shot like that, it gives you like extra extra points. I have a feeling we should see him over here somewhere. I've never felt so cold in my life. Oh, you're going to be okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, young lady. You have. It's only negative five degrees Celsius for the feels like temperature. You have felt, you have felt much worse than this. In this particular life. Hmm. He's around here somewhere. I didn't see him come back unless when I harvested the or quartered up the bear, he sort of uh, ran back into the area and laying low. It's hard to hard to say. We might run over that wolf at some point or another. If not, the the big thing from this wolf, I want I, I wouldn't mind having his hide and. Again, my arrow. I want my arrow back. So, maybe we'll find it. Make another run through that, that area. But first thing is, we need to get her warmed up. And then once the uh, wind dies down, we might see another flock of... or mur murder of crows circling in an area where they normally don't, and I might get a clue that way. Plus, when I get to the cabin, I'm going to check and see if the wolf wolf's killed went from 24 to 25. That'll be another indicator. Felt like as small as that target was, it probably had to be, and he was facing me, it pro there's a good chance it was just a, it was a headshot. Um, not enough to bring him down immediately, but it should be enough to bring him down a, somewhat quickly, you'd think. Or, or a chest, a, like a chest shot. So, I'm not sure. Alright, let's head on down here. Got our rabbits happily frolicking behind our cabin. So I'm guessing the wolf isn't hanging out there. dropped at but we will find out here in a little while coming up on the hour mark so I'm gonna end this episode here well we got two two bears killed a wolf maybe and then a, a deer as well not too bad and we've almost leveled up our uh, archery a full full level so I'm pretty happy with that All right, yeah, we do have we do have two cooking pots here as well. So I guess I've been dropping recycled cans over here, thinking that I might need them, but it turned out not needing them. All right, let's real quick. Let's go back here and look at the wolf killed stat. Let's see where we're at. Twenty five. Okay, so he died somewhere. He just died. So we'll uh, go back and check for him in the next episode, somewhere between here and unnamed cabin. See where he where, where he uh, where he fell. Get that arrow back. Get that wolf hide. And go from there. All right. So I'm gonna drop the bear hide here to cure, just to get started. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that started. It's midday. Uh, basically, I just need to warm up. But all right, I'm gonna step out, step back in, just to resave it. Now that I dropped the bear hide, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. See you in the next one. We'll go find this wolf. Y'all take care.